Hey guys, I'm Oli and you watching Classic Airsoft. Today I brought you something that is not so classic. A Tokimarui Scarlight CQC FTE Next Generation Recoil Shock Module. As always, Tokimarui presented the Scar in a really nice white box with the Recoil Shock branding, a sticker that says CQC FDE 10 inch barrel length. I guess on the black one, you get a sticker with the black one on it. But due to the fact we have the FDE version here, the picture shows us the FDE version. So let's get into it. We open up the box and wow, we don't have a scar due to the fact I used the scar before. So I show you first the other things. We have a nice manga thing. From Marui, the new safety paper, I guess, that uh, <laughs> I should tell you. If you see a monkey on a tree, run away. The monkey will shot in your eyes, will shoot in your eyes. Then we have this paper card that shows us the CQC 10 inch barrel model with the part numbers for the 10 inch outer barrel and the right inner barrel for that length and then we have the scar l user manual that's the same for the long model as well as the cqc model this user manual is very detailed as always from tokyo marui with lots of pictures the manual is written in mainly japanese but we have some sentences in english as well but due to the fact that we have as much pictures as shown here everyone could handle this scar without reading the manual in my opinion then we have a stunak mag cut out in fde this one counts 82 bbs but if you uh, remove this screw you can pull out the insert from the magazine and then you will find a switch to switch between 82 rounds or 30 rounds milsim capacity as well underneath this we have a tool to adjust the front side some 0.25 gram bbs a muzzle cap and a marui speed loader so let's get a box out of the way and throw the beauty in the camera so this is the tokyo marui scar l cqc in FTE. Take a look at this beauty. The Tokyo Marui Scar L or Scar Heavy, all the Marui Scar models are, in my opinion, the Scar Airsoft models with the very best build quality on the market. So if you buy the Scar, you don't get the Tango Down foregrip with it and you don't get the EOTech clone with it. So I attach this, that the Scar isn't or does not look so naked what is made out of metal on this scar you may ask yourself the complete upper assembly is made out of metal the rails on the left and right sides and even on the bottom are out of metal the outer barrel is out of metal front side post is out of metal front side flash hider top rail iron sides these plate that attached the stock with the body is out of metal, ping pong pedal, metal, mag release metal, trigger, metal. Yeah. So the scar has this reciprocating charging handle due to the fact it's an NGRS. So it moves like this, snaps your thumb as the rear thing. Yeah. And you can uh, swap it from the right to the left like on the real thing, but for swapping out the charging handle, as you can see, you can't pull it back in this position. You have to remove the upper receiver, then you can pull it back until you reach this hole, twist it 90 degrees and you can remove it, insert it on the other side and you are ready to go. So we had the metal parts. Now let's take a closer look at the markings. On the left side, we have FN Herstel, Belgium, V0897, 
MK16 Mod O, Caliber 556 and L012047 and some German law proof marks. That's it on the left side. Turn it over to the right side. We only have Tokima Rui Co. Limited, made in Japan, ASGK, automatic, single fire and safe. That's it. And on the stock, we have the numbers for the stock position. We have adjustable hop up underneath the We have adjustable hop up underneath here. If you pull back the charging handle, you can see the rotary hop up dial. So battery space is very limited on this car. That really sucks. You don't have much space in the back here. So the only battery space is from here to here in the sliding stock. You have six positions and a cheek weld with two positions, upper and lower positions. The iron sides are foldable. You can turn it from left to right and adjust the height by turning that screw here. As well, really well made. So you have the option to use PTS, EPM magazines as well as the normal Starnak mags. And if you have a small adapter, you can use a normal AEG mags as well on these NGRS models, but then you haven't the option of using the bolt stop function if the magazine is empty. To get to the battery, just pull out this captive pin then you can remove the back plate and insert the battery. I won't do it again because it is really fiddly to get a battery in here and I just installed one. So I don't show you that, sorry. With the flash hider that is provided by Marui, you can also attach or attach this silencer made for the scar. Give them an even more tactical look, but I don't like it for the video here. So let's fill up a magazine with some 0.2 gram BBs. Then I will take my safety glasses and get the chroma ready. So let's shoot that thing a little bit. Insert the magazine and this NGRS will stop when the magazine is empty. 289.5, two 292.3, 498.6, 286.7, 287.4. So as you can see, the gun stopped firing due to the fact the magazine is empty now. The cool thing is this NGRS models, as you can see, shoots every BB and no BBs are falling out of the gun as they do on a normal AEGs. So the velocity is around 290, a little bit under 290 FPS. So it's around 0 0.8 Joule, totally normal for Tokimarui. Take a look at this gun. I hope you liked the video. If yes, I would be really happy if you hit the bell, leave a comment, and I would say, I see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.